Mr. Tajamul Hussain. He is president of Ensued Group. He is the international presenter of Travel Talk. He has 25 years of experience and visited more than 70 countries and more than 250 cities of the world. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, hello, namaste and adab. We're running uh, pretty late, I guess. I've been asked to uh, cut down my presentation 10 minutes. Uh, Mr. Modi is trying to bring uh, uh, the fastest train in India, and I'm trying to do <laughs> just that here at uh, this convention. My distinguished co uh, colleagues here have presented uh, various forms of uh, tourism. Uh, we've discussed about ecotourism, religious tourism, medical tourism, and we've also talked about my destination. And I'm going to talk about how we can market all of these forms of destinations. Quickly run through some of these slides, but those of you who are interested in details, you can always take a copy of this presentation from me, and we can discuss the details as well. Uh, some of the trends uh, uh, to note in, in marketing is, uh, one of them is personalization. You would notice that you're exposed to a lot of brand messages every day. Uh, uh, research says that 10,000 brand messages the consumer is exposed to every day. Now, how do you cut through this clutter? You can look at cons uh, customer data analytics, uh, customer segmentations, and of course, you know, you look at target marketing efforts to uh, cut through this clutter. Video definitely is one of the, the most important uh, medium to look at. 59.1% of marketing professionals Worldwide, pinpoint video as a type of content with the best return on investments. 43% of global internet users wanting to see more video content from marketers in the future. Messaging apps, we all use WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and so on and so forth. These are very, very important. It offers a huge target audience globally. Uh, artificial intelligence, this is something which is really happening and we must look at it very carefully and how we can use this in, in the marketing of our brands, destinations, etc. I'll share with you some examples uh, later on in my presentation. Uh, here you lo you're going to look at user web browsing behavior and how you can basically use AI for pay-per-click ad campaigns, social media content, better engagement, etc. You also have chatbots uh, making a lot of noise uh, here as part of the AI. New social media stars, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, are uh, really uh, performing well in the tourism sector. Uh, Instagram especially, uh, especially with celebrities, influencer marketing being very, very popular. Now let's look at uh, the path to purchase when it comes to a destination. There are five stages. Awareness being the starting point, very, very important. Consideration, purchase, service, and loyalty completes these five stages, which are very critical for any marketing campaigns. In these five stages, the various media and touch points that are uh, critical in making the campaign successful. You're going to look at video, virtual reality, uh, traditional media like TV, radio, print and outdoor, PR campaigns, road shows and events are extremely uh, critical. Word of mouth is still not gone away, very, very important. Influencer marketing I talked about and how you can use social media online ads, messaging apps, artificial intelligence, and so on and so forth. Uh, the list is big. I'm, I'm leaving behind a copy so you can always access the details. I'll share with you a quick example here on virtual reality and how this is making impact in marketing today, especially in tourism.
how the impact was. It was a road show, a VR concept, a video shop there, and the impact. So it was amazing. Now we look at uh, uh, how video can make a difference in your marketing efforts. I'm, I'm sharing a case study here of an integrated marketing approach uh, of how we promoted a particular destination in the, the Arabian Gulf markets. The campaign objective was creating awareness and demand. And before we did that, we obviously analyzed uh, the consumer uh, in those markets. We looked at the market itself, where the GCC markets, and some facts about the market. The, the markets offered $94 billion as an opportunity by 2020, so therefore it was a huge market to promote as a source market. 47 million people there, uh, 32 million travelers from that region, nearly 75 to 80% of the people travel from that region. They spend about $72 billion, and average spend per person uh, in tourism is one of the highest in the world. When they travel, they travel as a family. Nearly 70 to 75% of these people uh, travel as a family. Where are they traveling, or why are they traveling? Leisure, about 82%, and business for 18%. Where are they traveling? At different parts of the world. Europe is the most popular destination for Arab travelers. Africa and the Middle East, about 26%, Asia Pacific, Americas, and Australasia being the other destinations. How are they spending? Airfare, uh, 34%, shopping, hotels, dining, and other experiences. Nearly 70 to 80% spent on air travel, shopping, and hotels. Most of these guys travel or prefer traveling business class or first class. When do they travel? Very, very important in terms of seasonality. July and August being the most important uh, seasonality for travel uh, from this region. What kind of activities do, do these guys do when they travel? Shopping is the number one activity. Uh, going to market again is a shopping activity. Beaches, parks, restaurants for food, of course, charter boats and crews, wildlife parks, and some of the other activities they indulge in. They are very well connected. Some of the biggest airlines in the world fly from there, including Emirates, Etihad, Qatar Airways, and so on. Uh, they uh, travel to almost 357 de destinations, so they offer very good connectivity. Most of these airlines fly to Hyderabad as well, so there's good connectivity from that region. And just read one aspect of this destination as a source market. They estimated 25 million people who earn over $100,000 per annum, so that's a very good source market to market your destination. We also looked at the media consumption habits of uh, the people there. Telling a destination story and uh, what travelers would like to know. Orange County, California was a destination uh, that we promoted in that region. And we developed a 13-episode series covering different experiences of that destination. Covering heritage, history and culture, parks and beaches, adventure and wilderness, food and gastronomy, uh, shopping, lifestyle, wellness, entertainment and events. We also integrated uh, other tourism stakeholders. For example, an airline partner was part of our campaign and they benefited from this integrated promotion. لما يكون في عندك ساعتين استراحة أو عشرين ساعة مش لازم تقلق بالمرة لما تكون في مطار اسطنبول تيجي على البزنس لاونش تبع التركش اير لاينز كل شيء بتقدر تعمله أول شيء بتريح الشنطة تبعتك زي ما شفت بعدين بتدخل بيجيك مكتبة كبيرة بيجيك سينما بيجيك طاولة بلياردة بيجيك جولف بيجيك 30 نوع بوفيه بيجيك ثلاجات العصير وين ما كان بيجيك تخت تنام عليه بيجيك مساج كل شيء بختار في بالك كإنترتينمنت وإكس بوكس وبلاي ستيشن موجود هون يعني أحلى محل إنك تقضي فيه الاستراحة بس في البزنس لاونش تبعت التركيش إيرلاين. Let's look at uh, a hotel partner.
and who doesn't love shopping? Another very important aspect. This is again coming from the consumer research that was done earlier. So uh, it was a complete integrated campaign including um, all the stakeholders and here are some of the metrics uh, of the campaign and its performance. Visitor numbers from uh, pre-campaign 96,000 went up to 126,000, a 33% jump. Average per capita spend to that destination increased from $2,000 to roughly about $7,000 per person. Campaign spend was just 280,000 and we, uh, and this campaign generated obviously $217 million to the destination and an ROI of 775%, that's massive. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you uh, look at your target audiences, obviously you look at uh, outbound and inbound traveler, where they come from, location, socioeconomic class, what are the key segments, are they flying for business, leisure, uh, or visiting friends or family, or what particular niche they're traveling for, what are the motivations and aspirations, are they looking at success, lifestyle, uh, knowledge and being updated, how they choose their travel destinations. Is it uh, through media, word of mouth, research, offers, events, and online? How do you engage with them? Uh, looking at uh, creating awareness. And this campaign case study that I just shared was a key objective was to create awareness and brand image. Uh, information dissemination, promotion through the right channels, and of course through uh, distribution channels as well. Uh, developing product services and experiences, this is extremely important. Key enablers like connectivity and, of course, visa facilitation for those who would like to come and visit your destination. The integrated approach is, of course, developing content across media. Uh, PR is extremely critical using digital, social media, and mobile. Integration approach, B2B, B2C, uh, holding your events, roadshows, conferences, and meetups is extremely critical. Altogether offers an integrated approach. Yeah, that's really it. Thank you very much. Yeah. I request Mr. Ashok Kumar, organizing committee member, to give away a fruit basket to Mr. Hussein.